What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another tweak video. I'm going to be showing you guys Xenon. This is a super powerful tweak and it's actually really, really cool how it works. I, I will say this is probably for more advanced users with jailbreak stuff. Um, I find it to be incredibly useful because I do just tons of file related things. As you guys have probably noticed with my recent videos, I do a lot of a lot of moving of files to back up things and to experiment with stuff. Um, and just a lot of file based stuff. So Xenon is a tweak that is from um, Cydia. I'll leave the repo that you guys will need down in the description. Now in a nutshell, pretty much what it's gonna let you do is connect to your device through your computer and access the file system for that device. So it's kind of like having files, uh, but on your computer. Now that's super handy um, for some people, especially maybe like uh, tweak developers um, or any advanced user really, you can access, you know, like I said, the file system, just like files, uh, but from a computer and you can in real time over your Wi-Fi transfer files and move things around. So I have the tweak installed here. I also have the client installed on my computer. Uh, so you guys can see what the, the interface looks like here on the iPhone. So, um, the mount that I created, so you do need to create a mount. Um, I just go to the root directory. Um, that's the best place I've found. It's just like being in files. Uh, you can specify obviously where you want to be in your device. I think root works really well. You have some more resources and information down below. You have uh, a public key, you have uh, copy client configurations and a bunch of other stuff. But um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to jump onto my computer now. And uh, like I said, I already have the client installed on the computer, but I'll show you guys where you can download it. And then we're going to pair our iPhone with, with our computer and it's going to be using a QR code. So you guys will notice that when you buy this tweak, when you click on pair computer, the, the camera opens up. And the reason is because it's allowing you to scan for a QR code. So we're going to go ahead and jump over to the Mac now. Okay, we are at churiz.com. It is from the Churiz repo, as you guys can see here. It's on sale right now for 99 cents, which is a pretty damn good deal for such a powerful tweak. Uh, it's normally $1.99. To me, that's still very cheap. So uh, on your computer, after you've had the tweak installed on your device, you can come here and you can get the client download by clicking on this link here. It'll take you to GitHub. And as you can see, there is the downloads right here. And it'll tell you which file do I download, etc. Mac is the xenon.dmg. Um, pretty straightforward. So for me, I just downloaded the, the xenon.dmg. Now we have the client on our computer. And as you can see, it's right here in the dock. And uh, what you can do is just right click and open. Now I found this to be a little confusing at first. You guys might too. It does nothing. <laughs> you, you will see that nothing happens, but it's up in the status bar now. So what you want to do is after you click open, you'll notice that it opens in the status bar. You can click on it there and then you can see you have some options here. You can restart your server. You can upload a log, view log. You can open config and data folder or you can pair your device. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on pair device. Now I'm gonna have this blacked out because it is a QR code. But all I'm gonna do is on my device now is I'm gonna click on pair computer. And now I'm gonna take my iPhone and hold it up to my monitor and just scan the QR. And then we did get a pop-up notification. Xenon is connected. So now we are connected to our iPhone in real time. So what we can do is open up uh, Finder on the Mac here, and I'll put this in the middle here. And if you guys notice on the left, you have locations. You can see there's a local host. There is your connection to your iPhone. So if we open up local host, you can see there is the mount for root directory. We can double click on that. And here are all of our folders in the root directory of our iPhone. This is super crazy. So just for example, we'll go into library. Um, we can go into themes. And as you guys will see, I can view all of the themes installed on my iPhone 10 directly on my computer. And honestly, there you can manipulate it as well. So if you wanna put themes into your iPhone, you can do that here if you know how to, you know, obviously name the extensions and all that. But Let's just uh, find one, for example, like intensity. So we'll go into the theme, we'll go to the icon bundles. And as you guys will see, here are all of the images for the theme. Now what's cool is you can literally just drag and drop stuff back and forth from your file system to your computer 
vice versa. So this is incredibly powerful. Um, like I said, developers would probably find this to be super useful. I find it to be super useful just because I like to do a lot of, I don't know, complex file system stuff on my devices. And I think that this is really, really cool. Uh, so just a quick example, just want to show you that you can go into your file system. I mean, you can go uh, into anything really. You can go into freaking ringtones if you want, and you can modify the ringtones on your iPhone if you want. So very, very powerful, cool tweak on iOS 14. Uh, again, it is called Xenon. I'll leave the repo down in the description. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.